Hi everyone, it's Beaching Nails. Today I'm going to show you guys um, how I've been making some of my own stamping polishes. I've made it once before with enamel paints and now I'm actually using something different. Here are some samples. I'll have these uh, extra picks at the end of the video. And I also made a black which stamps amazing. And do these colors show over black? This is always a number one question, and they do. I'll also have this pick at the end. And here is, this is the black before, and this is after. Funky Fingers, the black actually stamps really good. It used to be my go-to black, and then they kind of switched the formula, and it was a little too runny. And it seems that they had switched the formula again, so it's pretty good. But I actually made it even darker. And to do this, over the holidays, I do a Christmas exchange, um, and it has to do with just nail goodies only. And in my basket, I had gotten a set of tattoo inks. Now some of you might have used this or seen this that you can use this to make and create your own sheer polishes aka lead lighting aka icing polishes whatever you want to call it. And you can add a couple of drops to this to sheer polish. Well I went ahead and I added a couple of drops to white polish. Now I do know Funky Fingers White Stamps Amazing. This is my go-to polish. But I didn't want to really waste a full bottle of this to test it out, so I had tried with an old white striper that I had. And as you can see here, the yellow tested amazing, and it does show and stamp over black. And I had created like a, almost like an eggplant, a dark purple. And that also shows over black as well. So I knew it was going to work, so I was safe to go ahead and start using some of my bottles that were half. And this one is more than half, but it's okay. It's, it's red, and these bottles are fairly cheap. And these, if you can hear, they already have mixing balls in there, which is great. I don't have a mixer to mix it, so I have to hand mix mine. And I believe these were just bought at um, T-Mart. Go ahead and take the cap off. And I'm just going to start out by adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5. I say 25. I almost have a full bottle of paint here, though. This is going to almost come out probably pink. And we're going to shake it up. I like this because I can create a lighter or a darker. Like when I was making this blue, it turned out to be a little bit darker, like a, a gray blue. But I was making it, I had this baby blue. So I grabbed another bottle and I added a couple of drops of black to, to this blue, which that blue is this one right here. So you can mix and match and make your own specific colors that you want. This is what it's looking like so far. I've made a couple of these already, like I said, with enamel paints. It'd be great for spring. This color is like a pastel color, and it's because there's so much white in the bottle. I'm going to add more red. I'm not even counting. I'm just putting it in there. Now, I'm afraid if I add black to this, I don't know if I'm going to get a deeper red or if I should add purple. I should probably look that up. But we're getting there. It is getting darker. Well, it's not red, red. It's almost like a coral color. I, and I, I have one already like this.
Now I'm going to add, I'm just going to do it, I'm going to add like two, two drops of black. Worst case scenario, I grab another white and I mix another, I'm going to have two shades of red to use. Not a big deal. And I do like uh, Funky Fingers, Fresh Paints, Five Below, Three for Five. Great deal. This is the only white polish. Here's a new bottle. This is the only white polish that I love to use even for a base and for stamping. It is no streaking. Two coats, even for long nails. You'll have no nail line. It evens itself out. It dries nicely, evenly, flat, smooth. I've tried the OPI, I've, I've tried China Glaze, Sinful, all the other ones, and this is still my favorite. Hmm. We made more or less like a coral. Gonna have to look this one up. At this point, I don't even know if it's worth adding more red, if I'm gonna actually get a deeper red or darker or not but I'm creating my own color inexpensive there is no smell to it okay let's go ahead and stamp this and test it out I've got my black cardstock here you find my stamper my scraper my stamper my lint roller All right, let's test this sucker out here. I'm gonna use this full nail image right here, this zigzag. Oh, is that mixed all the way? Good. There's still black left on the neck of the bottle. This is the joys about making. Look at that. Does it show? Like, yeah, it does. It's right there. All right, and I have a little label here that I've been using to show what the color looks like. I mean, I know when I see it on white, I know I'm making them. I know they all stamp over black, so I'm not worried about two-toning my polish and wasting black polish and painting black on it. I'm not worried about that. Very rarely I actually even use... If you've noticed in a lot of my manis, I don't really use a lot of colored stamping polish. Once in a while, but not too often. And that's it. That's how I am making my stamping polish for now. There is no odor. The only odor is from your nail polish. And actually, Funky Fingers is, they are three free. So they are a little bit safer than some other polishes that are out there. Alrighty, well, you guys take care and thank you for watching. Hang time. Bye-bye.